Life is always unexpected, but if you have the power of love in your heart, you will experience that you will be brave to face any challenges in your life. I was born in a very happy family in Hong Kong. My parents, they are such a hardworking parents. My dad is in low education level. He is a pork seller. He owned a little shop in the market, and my mum was also his assistant. They work very long hours every day, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. or even 8 p.m. And my mum even worked longer, because after she got back home, she had to prepare the dinner for the family. My respect, my love to my hardworking parents, I have it since I was very young, and gradually. When I grow up, I found myself that mom is actually my best friend. I can talk a lot with her, with her. I can talk a lot different things to her, and find that intimacy is really special. Actually, it's more than friends. But one day in 2006, at the end of August, I was taking a shower in the bathroom, chatting with my mom. She's cooking in the kitchen as usual, and suddenly, I heard a sound. She's shouting, and then bang! I rushed out of the bathroom. I found mom already got fainted on the floor on the kitchen. We called the ambulance, sent her to the hospital, and the doctor said, "Hey, your mom may have some tumor in the brain, so her mobility." Will be getting disabled on the right side. We have to accept this unexpected news to my family, because we love mom so much. We want to keep her good living quality, even though she is in wheelchair later, and also counting down her lifespan in just two to three years. We bought her to travel a lot, several cities in Asia. We brought her to see the Sakura season in Tokyo. We enjoy so much, even in the wheelchair. We take good photos, good food. But the reality is, when we get back to Hong Kong, mom needs to take the doctor visit nearly two times a week, four times a month. And we found that the existing transportation operation, we cannot find a good service. The existing taxi operator, we find it's too costly to make some new taxi. And even we found the NGO service sometimes it's not convenient, it's not user friendly. That's why we have this in Hong Kong. This is the van. How they promote the van? They can carry the printer, machine, safe, bucket, pumping machine, and also elderly with disability. They got the ramp that can be loading the wheelchair easily. Much better than a normal taxi, and much better than some general car. But how much they charge? They charge two to three times higher than a normal legal taxi. And how was the mentality of making the business like this? Because they're making use of the accessibility and making some illegal service in Hong Kong, and even the government cannot stop it. Because if they stop it, who can take care of the elder easily? I found this problem is not just Hong Kong. It's talking about aging population. It's not just my mom. It's all your moms and all your dads. In 2050, we can imagine with the aging population and low birth rate, more and more elders they need our care. They've been wheelchair. They need to transport. They need to go out. What can we do? After a few years working hard. We worked together with a taxi owner, and we found a new company called Diamond Cab. Why I named Diamond? Because my mom likes diamond earrings, and I also I want to remind the people with disability, even though you are disabled, you are also a diamond. You have the value in yourself. We got a lot of support in Hong Kong. We have different sponsors, you know. Different people to support us, different partners, and so far we have already finished over seventy thousand trips in Hong Kong. 
But the very interesting thing is, we don't need government money. We got impact investment. We got very patient investor and partners to help me to make this happen in Hong Kong, and now become globalized because our brain is so famous now. But not only the vehicle itself. I always remember that my mom needs quality of living. She wants happiness. She wants fun. She wants to know that she is not lonely in the world, trapped in the wheelchair. So we can't let the elders to have the depression. In Hong Kong, many elders living alone or living in nursing home, it's difficult to take care of them mentally. That's why, with Diamond Cab, I would drive them out to play. I have the idea this year called Diamond Leisure. I will partner with karaoke, cinemas, travel agent hotels to make the barrier-free trips and travel more easily. I will bring the elders to go enjoy the karaoke night, so the elder learn this after singing a song. They always inspire me. Elders can also rock. Just release them, set them free. They love to have fun together with the beloved family members. This is uncle's daughter. Also, I will bring them out to enjoy the natural scenery. This is High Island Reservoir in Hong Kong, very famous geo park, with diamond cap. Elder even sitting in the wheelchair, wearing the sneakers, just go into a cab, and then we can bring them out and enjoy the fun. This is what we need in future. Don't trap in the wheelchair. Don't trap at home. We need more fun. I think my love to mom is actually the extension of her love to her mom, my grandma. My grandma is still here. She's 95 years old. She likes to play mahjong with my dad now and aunties. She can earn money actually sometimes. <laughs>、um, my grandma's still here. Always remind me that my mom's love is really perpetual to me. To many people, they love their parents. So I have to keep diamond cap going. I have to make it sustainable, with more partners, more sponsor coming to me, and make it big. I remember that it's very dramatic. In the year of 2012, two weeks before Mother's Day, actually my mom cannot talk for a year, but I tried to ask her, "Mom, do you want to have Diamond Cap to visit Grandma in Mother's Day?" I tried to ask. I don't expect any answer. But my mom make her full energy and make a song like this. <clears throat> That is the song for the people without any language ability and also mobility. But he, she make the song like this. I think it's for yes, right? I'm so excited and ask again, Mom, do you want them again? <clears throat> Even louder. She charge her full energy to say yes. Please book the cab for me to visit my mom, her mom. That's my grandma. So I made for her. Who knows? This is her last trip in Diamond Cap. She passed away in 2012 June, just one month after the last Mother's, Mother's Day celebrating with Grandma. But I made for her, not only for her, I made for many other moms and grandmoms, granddad, grandparents, because this is the gift for my mom and also the gift for all for the world. With people, they really need the care in a wheelchair. Thank you.